Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Georgetown High School for the final home final game, uh, home game, just game of the season for your Cedar Park Timberwolves. They will finish this season just on the outside looking in. Fifth in district play. Looking forward to next season. So what's on the line tonight? Pride. As with every game, there's pride on the line. Georgetown comes into this game 10 and three in district play. Georgetown, Cedar Park in this game four and eight in district play. I'm sitting on the side of the field, right in front of the on deck circle. As you'll see the camera angles a little bit rough, but that's a-okay. Well, Cedar Park will look to get it done with starting lineup of Molly Mitchell batting first, Evan Garcia batting second. Batting third will be Avery Evans, Madden Singleton batting cleanup, Addison Parton batting fifth, Bella Acosta batting seventh, Sole Bosha batting eighth, and Taylor Alexander batting ninth. Molly Mitchell will step into the box. Leading off from Cedar Park, number one, Molly Mitchell. Mitchell scored two runs. on Saturday against Leander. Cedar Park came oh so close to upsetting the Leander Lions last time out, losing that one by a final of six to five, having the tying run on third base after an Evan Garcia triple with no one out and unable to bring him home, keeping Leander undefeated. Last time these two teams met, Georgetown got the better of them, though last time Cedar Park was here, they did win as Mitchell shows bunt, takes the bunt back, takes it outside. They did win that one, between the first team to defeat Georgetown at their brand new stadium. And that game is mostly known by me for the game my equipment decided it wanted to malfunction. So this time it's all good and we're ready to go. So let's play some softball in this season on a high note for Cedar Park. 1-0 pitch to Mitchell has bounced foul of the first baseline, third baseline, and we'll do it again. Taps home plate, ready for a 1-1 pitch. 1-1 is fouled over the screen, out of play. Defense for Georgetown Eagles will be Coons in left field, Swan in center, Harris in right field, Prince at third base, Torres at shortstop, Pinnell at second, Vasquez at first base, Miller behind the plate, and in the circle will be Blinko. Who won last time against Cedar Park. Won't have the pitcher in the shot, not the batter be just a tad bit more important. As one, two pitch, misses low, and they're gonna say she went around. First out of the inning, first strikeout for Blenko. There's one away. Three, Evan, Garcia. Evan Garcia had an RBI triple against the Leander Lions. Made it a one-run game. Part of a two-hit performance against Leander. First pitch is popped up in the air. Left fielder coming in. Center fielder calls her off, makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Garcia swinging at the first pitch. There's two gone now for Avery Evans. Avery Evans went two for four with a couple strikeouts against Leander with a run scored.
Pitch to Evans is upstairs, ball one. Evans waiting for a 1 0 pitch from Blinko. Here it comes as she swings and misses through that one. It's 1 and 1. This is the closest I've ever been to a field for a broadcast. Usually a bit off a ways. This time I'm right next to the field. Gotta say, it's kind of fun. 1 1 pitch to Evans is popped up and out of play and will go into the stands, over the stands. It's 1 and 2 to Avery Evans. Evans by Avery, one, two, pitch, here it comes, is upstairs, good eye. It's two and two. Evans waiting for the two, two pitch, here it comes. Swings and misses that one, strike three, that's the final out of the inning. Second strikeout for Blinko. It's a one, two, three, top of the first, but we'll head to the bottom half of the inning. Our score, Cedar Park, nothing. Georgetown coming up. You're listening to Georgetown, sorry, Cedar Park softball on the Vite Media Network. Bottom half of the first inning here at Georgetown High School. Lineup for Georgetown will be Torres batting first, Swan batting second, Hartley batting third, Prince batting fourth, Miller batting fifth, Pinelli batting sixth, Blinko, the pitcher batting seventh, Kuntz batting eighth, and Harris batting ninth. Defense for your Cedar Park Timberwolves. It'll be one last time this season, Madden Singleton in the circle. She'll be pitching to Evan Garcia, Molly Mitchell, freshman playing third base. Avery Evans playing shortstop. Izzy Robinson at second base. Taylor Alexander playing first. Addison Parton in left field. Bosha in center. And Natalie Mikus in right field. As Torres comes up to up in here by the late DMX. Very underrated walk-up song, I must say. First pitch to Torres is rolled in there for a ball. Cedar Park out hit Leander. Eight runs to three as that one finds its way through the gap for a base hit. Cedar Park has been susceptible to getting the leadoff runner on. So Swan will step in now, the center fielder. First pitch, as she swings with the first pitch, hooks it down the left field line, but foul. So Torres at first base, Swan at the plate, no one out in the bottom half of the first inning. Swan's ready, here's the pitch. That one's low, it's one and one. Watch 
1-1. Rolls in there, gets away from Garcia, and Torres will make way over to second base. Big turn at second, but she'll hold there. So it's a 2-1 count now to Swan. Two one pitch is popped up. Evans comes in, makes the catch for the first out of the inning. Torres stays put. Now bring up the designated player Hartley. Hartley steps in, winning for a first pitch, rolls in there. Rolls just away from Garcia, Torres stays put. one -oh pitch to Hartley is, actually, I'm not sure. Looks like she took it outside, the umpire did not make any signal. Parts I'm concerned in the scoreboard operator is kept at that 2 1. Hit in the air to left field, but foul. From my angle, any ball that's hit, high fly ball, it's hard to tell until I, have to say, until I take a look at it. So I kind of judge by the body language, but that one's foul. So, you know, the scoreboard is right, not being moved since the previous at bat with Swan, so it says 2 1. Old saying, even broken clock is right twice a day. Here comes the 2-1. Rolled in there. It's three balls, one strike to Hartley. Torres at second base, one away here in the bottom of the first inning. On the ground, but foul at the third baseline. Full count now to Hartley. Payoff pitch in the air to right field. Now one's gonna get down for a base hit. Scoring easily is Torres. And it's one to nothing, Eagles. The second game in a row, Cedar Park has given up a run in the first inning. Hartley with a base hit. I'll bring up the cleanup hitter, third baseman, Prince. First pitch is low to Prince for a ball. So Hartley at first base after the base hit. One out here in the bottom of the first inning. Georgetown leading Cedar Park one to nothing as the 1-0 pitch is lined in the right field. As Prince goes the other way with it, Hartley moves over to second base, and there's two on with one out for the catcher, Miller. Three base hits in the inning. Two on with one out. Pitch to Miller is upstairs. One-zero pitch. That one catches the zone for a strike. First called strike thrown by Madden Singleton. We've seen this before. It takes her a little bit to get settled in. Once she does, gets a nice rhythm going. And she can usually set him down. One-one pitch is cut on and missed. So Singleton ahead in the count, one and two. Here it comes. On the ground, up the mill, and that's going to sneak on through for a base hit. Bosha picks it up. The throw to the plate will be not in time. She gets underneath the tag. Hartley comes around to score. Prince moves over to second base. Prince 
He's able to bounce one up the middle and Georgetown up in front two to nothing. So Pinnell steps in with one away. Scoreboard says two outs, but I count just one. We have a courtesy runner, number 30, Madison Beck. So Madison Beck will courtesy run for the catcher over at first base. In case anyone needs a reminder, you can courtesy run for a pitcher or a catcher in softball. As pitch Spinell misses outside. Like I say, your broadcast, this is your first softball broadcast. One, how did you find us? Secondly, I hope you enjoy it. The 1 0 pitch rolls in there. Good stop by Garcia. It's 2 and 0. Two zero pitch, just misses outside. Three balls, no strikes. So Pinnell waiting for a three zero pitch, popped up and out of play. Prince over at first base, courtesy runner over at say Prince over at second base, courtesy runner over at first base, replacing the. Catcher Miller. The 3 1 in the air to center field. It backs up Bosha looking up, and that one is off the wall. Just barely missed out on the whole run, and it bounces away. One run scores. They're going to hold the runner up at third base. Now throw to the plate. Throw back to Garcia, and she is out at home. Throw back to second. And the runner stays. However, a run does score. The second out of the inning. So Peniel just misses out. On a home run, a high wall out in center field. Keeping her from putting three on the board. As it stands, a three-run game, but a good heads-up play there. I believe Avery Evans to get that out. One, eight, six, two. As pitch to Hannah Blinko, the pitcher, misses outside. One pitch is swung on and miss. It's one and one. So Pamil over at second base after the RBI double. It's three to nothing. Georgetown here in the bottom half of the first inning. Two outs. One one pitch to Blinko misses upstairs. The two on pitch, popped up and out of play, evens the issue at two balls, two strikes. Looking for more soft balls, they'd be fouled off plenty. Two two in the air to center field. It backs up Bosha and that one's out. Georgetown has extended their lead in the first inning on a two out, two run homer for Blinko. It's now five to nothing, Georgetown. Now up to 
staff here, Lady Eagles, number two, D. Harris. Correction, number 27, Rainy Coons. I was about to say, the PA announcer had gotten the next batter in the lineup wrong. It's a good thing that Georgetown sent the right batter to the plate. If they sent the wrong one, that's actually an out if they get hit or if they complete their at-bat in general. That's an out. First pitch to Coons misses outside. One zero pitch is in there for a strike. Two hundred feet all around the field. No matter where he hit, it, except for in center field, the ball's a bit higher. On the ground, off the glove of Alexander, race to first base. She'll beat Coons to first base in time for the final out of the inning. However, Georgetown had five on the board, capped off by a Blinko home run. After one complete, our score, Georgetown five, Cedar Park nothing. Listening to Cedar Park softball on the Vite Media Network. Top of the second inning here at Georgetown High School. It'll be Madden Singleton, Addison Parton, and AZ Robinson due up for the Timberwolves. Five, four, five, and six. Georgetown leading the Timberwolves five to nothing. Last time Cedar Park though found themselves trailing by five runs. It was against Leander and they came back to make it a one run game in the sixth inning. What did we've learned? You can't count out the Timberwolves. Up to bat, number 14, Madden Singleton. First pitch to Singleton. Misses outside, ball one. One-oh pitch is cut on and missed. It's one and one. Madden waiting for a 1-1 pitch, here it comes. Hits in the air to center field, it backs up to center fielder, Swan to the wall, that one's gone! I wish my camera could have seen that one. Madden Singleton leads off the top of the second inning with a home run of her own. That ball just kept on carrying. That'll bring up Addison Parton. It's now five to one, Georgetown. First hit of the game for Cedar Park is a dinger. Pitch to Parton in there for a strike.
A one pitch is upstairs for a ball. First time on a broadcast, we've caught a conventional home run. And of course, my camera couldn't even see it. On one pitch, misses low and inside. Last home run for Cedar Park was an Avery Evans inside the park home run against Liberty Hill. Upstairs to Parton, three balls, one strike. One oh. Misses low and outside, ball four. So Parton draws the walk. They'll bring up Izzy Robinson. Can I see if maybe I can hear the conversation between Cammy Jinsky and Izzy Robinson, maybe telling her to perhaps bunt. Move Robinson over and bring up Acosta. <laughs> so Robinson waiting for the first base. Does show Bunt up the first baseline. Tags it for the first out as Parton does advance on over to second base. So one out after the sacrifice for Bella Acosta. Acosta had three RBIs in their last game, including a bases clearing single that brought Cedar Park to within two of Leander. She also singled in the seventh inning to bring the tying run, to put the tying run on base. To Acosta is on the ground, up the middle, and through for a base hit. They're going to send Parton home. The throw to the plate is over the head of the catcher as Acosta will sneak on over to second base. Parton almost ran right into the catcher. It's now 5-2. to two. This is Soleil Boshe will step in now. I've said this once, I've said it the I'll say it again, Soleil Bosha. I've done many broadcasts, and Soleil Bosha is one of the most fun names to say, as we will get a runner in for Acosta. He's a designated player tonight. It'll be Annika Oberg. The Annika Oberg in to run. So Oberg at second base, one out here in the top of the second inning. Pitch to Bosha, is swung on and missed for a strike. Upstairs is one and one. Bosha waiting for a 1-1 pitch. That one's in there for a strike. The 1-2. As she swings and misses to that one, strike three. Second out of the inning, third strike out of Verblinko. That will bring up Taylor Alexander. Oberk at second base. Cedar Park scored twice this inning, make it a three-run ball game. As Blinko misses upstairs. Go, 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 
1-0 pitch is swung on and miss. One ball, one strike. Two outs in the top of the second inning. Runner at second base. Comes the 1-1. Foul back of the screen, just catches a piece of it. It's one and two. One, two. And that comes side, that hits Alexander. But she'll wear it. That'll bring up Molly Mitchell. She struck out swinging in the first at bat of the ball game, representing the tying run here. I think the PA announcer may have said flex player, Natalie Mickus. And Molly Mitchell at the plate, Mitchell. Squares up, pulls the bat back, takes the first pitch up high and inside. That's Molly Mitchell, number one. So Oberg at second base, Alexander at first. Mitchell representing the tying run here on the top of the second with two away. 1-0 pitch, in the air to left field. Left fielder coming in, she makes the catch for the final out of the inning. However, Cedar Park add two on the board from a Acosta single and a Madden Singleton home run. We played one and a half. Our score, Georgetown five, Cedar Park two. You're listening to Cedar Park softball on the Vite Media Network. Bottom, bottom of the second inning here at Georgetown High School. 9-1 and 2 due up for the Eagles would be Harris, Torres, and Swan. Georgetown leading the Timberwolves by a score of So D. Harris will step in. First pitch in there for a strike. As Folder with a change up. So you've seen Madden love to do. Quickly ahead 0-2 to Harris. And the pitch is just barely fouled back. Harris stays alive, count still remains 0-2. As one 0-2 pitch is fouled back over the screen. Oh, two pitch in there for strike three. First strikeout for Singleton. First out of the inning. Back to the top of the order before Georgetown. Isa Torres will step in. A base hit her last time up and came around to score on the Hartley single.
As pitch to Torres misses inside. One up pitch low. Two balls, two strikes. Two zero pitch on the ground, back up the middle and through for a base hit. Just underneath the glove of Madden Singleton, second hit for Torres, and that'll bring up Swan. She popped up to Avery Evans at short her last time up. Up the middle, right at Evans, who catches it on the fly. <laughs> so second time tonight, Swan is out by the hands of Avery Evans, and that'll bring up Hartley, who had an RBI single in her last appearance. Torres remaining over at first base. Pitch to Hartley is fouled back on the screen. 0-1. That's probably hits one in the air to left field, and that one is foul. <laughs> Not by much, though. Madden ahead, 0-2. Oh Here it comes. Rolls it in there, 1-2 and two now to Hartley as Torres will stay put at first base. One, two. That one is, well, it looked like gonna be in there for strike three for a moment. It looked like the catcher was going to ring her up. Get kind of the motion ready, but stopped the last in. 2-2 pitch is popped up down the left field line and way out of play. We'll do it again at 2-2. Two and two. two away here in the bottom half of the second inning. Two outs, Torres at first base, Hartley at the plate. The 2-2 in the air to right field. Going back on it is Mikus, and that ball is gone. Just missed the home run earlier, and this time goes the opposite way. And it's a five-run lead again. For the Eagles. Third home run in two innings between both teams. As Prince will step in, base hit and score to run back in the first inning. As looks at the first pitch outside. The 1 0 pitch is swung on and missed. One one in the air to center field. Going back on is Bosha. They run into each other in center field. Bosha still down. Parton picks it up. It's a double for Prince. Now let's see if Bosha is okay. Both were converging on that ball. 
and hit head on into each other. Bosha is up. And it looks like she'll stay in the game. Maybe just had the wind knocked out of her just a little bit. That'll bring up Miller. Miller reached on the base hit and was out at home play back in the first inning. Pitch to Miller, upstairs and outside, ball one. So after the Swan line out to Evans, a Hartley home run after being head 0-2 and, and a base hit to center field by Prinz. As this one's popped up, should be playable. Robinson underneath it makes the catch, snow cone style, for the final out of the inning. However, Georgetown add two more on the board on a Hartley home run. Cedar Park back down by five, but trying to scratch and claw the way back into it. We'll head to the top of the third inning. Our score, Georgetown seven, Cedar Park two. Listening to Cedar Park softball on the Vite Media Network. Top of the third inning here at Georgetown High School will be a 2 3 5 do up for the Timberwolves. It'll be Garcia, Evans, and Madden Singleton. Garcia flew out to center field her last time up. Garcia will step in. First pitch in there for a strike to Garcia. Linko is bringing the heat. The 0 1 in the air to center field. Backing up as a center fielder, Swan underneath it now makes the catch. Second time tonight, Garcia has flown out to center field. One away for Avery Evans, who struck out swinging her last time up.
Wind is starting to blow out here. Not as bad as it was in previous games. I've been outside a few games, and it's been windy and rainy and hot. But tonight, it's perfect weather for softball. As Evan looks at one upstairs. Pitch to Evans, inside, good take. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch to Evans, swings and fouls it back, two balls, one strike. Top of the third inning, one out, no one on. Georgetown leading Cedar Park 7-2. I must apologize for my camera as it does go out of focus and people kind of come into frame at times, but it does get back into focus relatively quickly. As Evans waiting for a 2-1 pitch, here it comes. And that one looked upstairs to me, but I'm not the umpire. Two balls, two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Upstairs, Evans holds off. Full count. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Fourth strikeout for Blinko. And there's two away here in the top of the third inning. Now bring up Ben Singleton, who homeward back in the second inning on a line shot to center field. Pitch to Singleton is low. One zero pitch. Swings it. Swings through. One and one. One one pitch to Singleton misses upstairs and outside. It's the catcher Miller out of her seat. The 2 1 pitch to Man Singleton in there for a strike. Linko digs in. Madden waiting for a 2 2 pitch. Here it comes. Just catches the piece of that one, stays alive. The 2-2, two -two. once again, fouls it back. The 2-2 two -two pitch on the ground and through for a base hit. <laughs> Throw to first base will be not in time, trying to cut her off. Good job for Madden to hustle down the line. Second hit in the night for Madden Singleton. Now bring up Addison Parton, who walked her last time up, and then came around to score on the Acosta single. On the ground, up the middle, grabbed by the second baseman, flips over to the shortstop in time for the final out of the inning. 
Cedar Park gets one on, gets one. A base hit, but they do not score. We'll head to the top, bottom half of the third inning. Our score, Georgetown 7, Cedar Park 2. You're listening to Cedar Park Softball on the Vite Media Network. Bottom of the third inning here at Georgetown High School. Georgetown leading the Timberwolves by a score of 5-2. to two. Seven, eight, nine, or 6, 7, and 8. Beg your pardon, due up in the third inning for the Eagles. It'll be um, Penel, Blinko, and Kuntz. Penel with a double her last time. They came around to score on the Blinko home run. So Pinnell will step in. And already, here's the first pitch. And she holds back on the changeup and flies one deep to center field, but Bosha underneath it this time, and this time holds her hand up, calls off Addison Parton for the first out of the inning. Now bring up Blinko who had that home run back in the first inning that put Georgetown up five to nothing. This is outside. On a pitch, popped up. Evans racing back, not coming over as Izzy Robinson. She makes the catch, and there's two away. Coons will step in now. She grounded out to first her last time up. Looks like a correction on the defense as Acosta. Correction. As Landreth is stepping in now in replacement of Coons. My change in defense, Acosta is in at first base as 1-0 pitch is in there by Landreth. It is dropped by Garcia, however. It still counts. One one pitch. This is low. Two balls, one strike to Landreth. As floats in there, a change up. That was a beauty. <laughs> Swing and a miss, strike three. A one, two, three, bottom of the third inning. Second strikeout for Madden Singleton. We'll head to the top of the fourth. Our score, Georgetown seven, Cedar Park two. Listening to Cedar Park softball on the Vite Media Network. Your 
remind all our Georgetown fans and parents that we will be honoring our seniors shortly after tonight's matchup. Be sure to stick around. Top of the fourth inning here at Cedar Park High School. Six, seven, and eight, not Cedar Park High School, Georgetown High School, beg your pardon. It'll be Izzy Robinson, Bella Acosta, and Sole Bosha do up for the Timberwolves. That's six, seven, and eight as Izzy Robinson out in a sacrifice bunt her last time up to move Addison Parton over to second base who then came around to score. Robinson steps in, first pitch on the ground, up the middle, grabbed by the shortstop, as takes a few steps, throws out Robinson at first base in time. And there's one away. Let me have Bella Acosta, RBI single her last time up. Should have cost us. swings and misses through a pitch up and pitch upstairs. The 0 1 misses low, one ball, one strike. Top of the fourth inning, no one on, one out. Cedar Park trailing by five, seven to two to the Georgetown Eagles. A 1-1. One, one. That one just misses. Two balls, one strike to Acosta. Two, one. Ground ball right to second. Up with it, throws over to first in time. For the second out of the inning, that'll bring up Soleil Bosha. She struck out swinging her last time up. That one bounces in there, nearly hits up and hits the cat, the umpire. A 1 0. On the ground, right to Blinko in the circle. Throws it over to the first baseman in time for the final out of the inning. A 1 2 3, top of the fourth inning. We'll head to the bottom half of the inning. Our score Georgetown 7, Cedar Park 2. Listening to Cedar Park softball on the Vite Media Network. Swan outside over 2 tonight. I must apologize, my broadcast went offline for a little bit and recording it, so you'll be able to see what you missed, but I'll let you know Torres hit a home run to left field and absolutely no doubter as Madden tries to flow one in there. The 2-0 pitch just catches the plate, 2-1. No one on, no one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. It's 9-2 Georgetown. 
The pitch on the ground, off the glove of Mitchell. And reaching is Swan. Hartley will step in now. With no one out, had a home run in her last at bat. Pitch misses upstairs. One-zero pitch fouled back. So Swan at first base. No one out after the Torres home run. Two runs come across have come across this inning. Georgetown scoring in all but one inning so far. As the one misses upstairs, throw down second base will be way over the head of Evans. Trying to make a play over the third base, it'll be offline to Mitchell. As Swan will wind up at third base. So Swan at third now with no one out. For Hartley at the plate. Inside and that hits Hartley, she actually catches it. So runners at the corners, no one out for Prince. A double and a single in this game. She's two for two. As Prince looks at one outside. The 1-0 is foul back. Runners at the corners, no one out in the bottom of the fourth inning. Georgetown leading 9-2 over Cedar Park. Just misses, two balls, one strike. So Prince at the plate. Hartley at first, Swan at third. The 2-1 pitch misses inside, 3-1 now to Prince. Three one is Fouled at the plate. A full count now to Prince. Miller on deck. Everybody. Payoff pitch. Outside, ball four. First walk given up by Singleton. The bases are now loaded for Miller. Miller with a base hit back in the first inning was out at home play, popped up to Izzy Robinson back in the second. So the bases loaded, nobody out for Miller as Cammy calls time. As we will be getting a new pitcher in for Cedar Park, it'll be a Kaya Oberg. Hey, 
coming in to replace a Madden Singleton. So while she gets warmed up, we'll take a quick break. Bases loaded, nobody out in the bottom of the fourth inning. Listening to Cedar Park Softball on the Vite Media Network. And we're back here at Georgetown High School. Miller stepping in. With the bases loaded, nobody out. Swan over at third base, Hartley at second, and Prince over at first. Sam Oberg pitch, he came in in relief against Marble Falls. Helping close the door against them. First pitch is slammed to left field, but foul and off the wall. Right now, just looking to get out of the inning with minimal damage. Miller trying to jump all over that first pitch and he got out just a little bit ahead of it. Comes the 0 1 outside for a ball. And here comes the 1 1 in there for a strike. Miller now facing a 1-2. Here comes the pitch from Oberg. Swing and a miss. This is a bad kind of taps Garcia in the back of the mask. That's why she wears one, or at least one of the reasons why. A big first out of the inning. First strikeout for Oberg. And I'll bring up Pinnell. Pinnell with a RBI double. Scored a run and flew out to center field in her last plate appearance. Pitch misses upstairs. As 1-0 pitch misses, they're gonna see if she swung. They're gonna appeal and say she did not swing. It's 2-0. So Pinnell waiting for a 2-0 pitch from Oberg. Here it comes. Popped up. Should be playable for Evans. Makes the catch for the second out of the inning. Infield fly roll called. I would assume at least. And there's two away now for the pitcher Blinko, who homered back in the first inning and popped out to Robinson.
2-0 pitch. That one just misses. One zero pitch, misses just low. Doesn't get a chase. Well, it's two zero to Blinko. Bases loaded. Two away here in the bottom of the fourth inning. That one's popped up. Evans. Underneath it, makes the catch, and Ober comes in with the bases loaded and nobody out and doesn't allow a single run to come across. Wow. After four complete, our score, it's Georgetown 9, Cedar Park 2. You're listening to Cedar Park Softball on the Vibe the Media Network. And let you know about our network sponsor, Academy Sports and Outdoors for all the ways you love to play. Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. We'll be right back. You're listening to Cedar Park Softball on the Vibe Media Network. It wouldn't take very long. Top of the fifth inning here at Cedar Park High School. Nine, not Cedar Park. I keep saying that. I want to be Cedar Park High School, but sadly it's not. I'm calling for Cedar Park, though. Nine, one, and two do up for the Timberwolves. It'll be Alexander, Molly Mitchell, and Evan Garcia. Cedar Park trailing by seven. They'll have nine outs to work with at the very least to try and scratch and claw the way back into this one. Up to bat for Cedar Park, number 11, Taylor Alexander. Alexander hit by a pitch back in the second inning. As she fouls one away. Is the old one as she swings and misses. Quickly behind 0 and 2. As swings and misses through that one. Fifth strikeout for Blinko. First out of the inning. Back to the top of the order. It's Molly Mitchell. She's over two tonight with a strikeout and a flyout. Pitch is up the middle and diving catch made by Pinnell. As Mitchell hit it hard just to the wrong spot. Evan Garcia will step in. She's flown out to center field twice tonight, 0 for 2. I need to make correction too. I should have seen that. It's all number five. It is Annika Oberg. She'll step in and swing and miss to the first pitch. Yeah, 
And that one's in there for a strike. The 0-2. This is low and outside, one and two. The one, two, foul back over the screen. Oberk stays alive. The one, two to Oberg. Misses low, good take there by Oberg. Avery Evans on deck. Hey, and someone threw it in, hits off the top of the, the dugout, the Georgetown dugout. The 2-2 two -two on the ground and threw for a base hit. Oberg able to keep fouling one off. He found off pitches and is able to find the hole through the left side of the infield. Loving up Avery Evans, he has struck out twice tonight. As Evans swaying out of her shoes on that one. I like the idea. Trying to jump on that first pitch. Oberg at first base. Evans at the plate as Evans looks at one low. Throwback over to first base. It's going to get away going to right field, but Oberg diving back to the plate. Maybe Annika was just off the bag a little bit. As one one pitch is swung through. And the one two. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Six strikeout for Blinko. It's the final out of the inning. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Our score. Cedar Park 2, Georgetown 9. You're listening to Cedar Park Softball on the Vibe Media Network. Bottom of the fourth inning here, fifth inning, correction at Cedar Park. I'm going to get it right, but this night is over. I promise you that. Georgetown High School. See, look, I got it right. Leighton Landreth will step in as more defensive changes for the Timberwolves as Oberg is in a catch. I'm not sure when she did come in. Alexander back over at first base. As Hernandez is now playing second. Uh, 
Downfield looks very similar. Pitch is swung on and missed. Comes the 0-1, in there for a strike. <laughs> We're ready for an 0-2, here it comes, as she swings and misses through that one. Oberg will apply the tag. Second strikeout for Kea Oberg. First out inning, they'll bring up Harris, who had a base hit back in the fourth inning and came around to score on the Torres home run. As a team, Georgetown is just missing the single, sorry, not the single, the triple for the cycle. In there for a strike to Harris. Oh one in the air to right field. That's gonna get down for a base. I go all the way to the wall. Make us up with it. Make that Bosha up with it. Throws it in over the head of Hernandez, but Evans able to cut it off. One out, double for Harris. That'll bring up Torres, who has been a menace. Two base hits, sorry, three hits, including two singles and a homer, and has scored three runs as Oberg's gonna go touch, talk to Oberg. What's interesting is, this is Kay Oberg pitching to her twin sister. Torres steps in, looks at one low, gets away from Ober, going over the third base is Harris. One-no right, pitch, misses low, gets right back to Ober, flip over to home plate, and she's out at home! Way to stay in as Oberg flicks it, flips it back over to Oberg to get that out at home plate. Back to back balls miss. Annika Oberg, that one able to get a good hop off the wall and Kaya comes in to get the out as 2-1 pitch, 2-0 pitch is on the ground to second. Hernandez slips over to first in time for the final out of the inning. Well, not conventional, but it's a 1-2-3 inning. After five complete, our score, Georgetown 9, Cedar Park 2. Listening to Cedar Park Sampa on the Vibe Media Network. Top of the sixth inning here at Georgetown High School. I told you I would get it right. It'll be a Kea Oberg, Addison Parton, and Izzy Robinson 
Actually, that might be Hernandez, but we'll see when she comes up. Oberg swings and misses or fouls it back. Oberg waiting for an 0 1 pitch. Uh, looks at one upstairs, but they're going to call that one in the zone, maybe at the number. 0 oh 2. Oh 2 pitch to Oberg. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That's the sixth strikeout for Blinko. And now bring up Addison Parton, who walked back in the second inning, came around to score, and then grounded out on the fielder's choice. Swings and fouls the first pitch back. As it will be Hernandez in place of Robinson. Comes the 0-1. That one just catches a part of the play. It's 0-2. Oh the 0-2 on the ground and through for a base hit. Long throw back over to first base. Almost hits Addison in the head. Interesting play there is Coons out in left field. There's a correction actually, and it's not who I think it is. There's actually Landreth out in left field. And now in the game for Cedar Park, number four, Richley Hernandez. Thinking a long throw back over to first base, probably trying to catch Parson Parton napping, but nearly hit her in the head. So Hernandez getting her first at bat tonight. Swings and fouls the first pitch back. Comes the 0-1, is swung on and missed. Comes the 0-2, swung on a miss. It gets off the glove of the catcher, but that still counts. Actually, no, dropped to strike three. So Hernandez stays alive. Indiana right center field coming in the center fielder. Dives, makes the catch, throws behind the runner, and... Not able to double up Parton, but Hernandez was robbed out in center field by Swan. Well, Acosta will step in. Round out and a base hit, an RBI base hit back in the second inning. First pitch is fouled up behind the screen. Okay. 
Comes the 0-1. Low. Costa waiting for a 1-1 pitch. Parton over at first base, two away. And that one catches the zone. It's one and two. Comes the one-two pitch. Popped up in the air to left field, coming on, and that one's gonna fall in for a base hit. Barton moves on over to second base. Acosta, second hit in the night. That will bring up Soleil Bosha. So two on, two out in the top of the sixth inning. Bosha is foul back. They swung at the first pitch every single time. And they get just underneath it. Like the play though, trying to jump on her. As 0-1 pitch just catches the play, it's 0-2. Comes the 0-2, line drive, and through for a base hit. They're going to hold Parton over at third base as the throw will come into home plate, and the bases are loaded now for Taylor Alexander. Alexander is hit by a pitch, and she struck out tonight. It wasn't for Hernandez being robbed out in center field. Could be nine to three right now. Alexander trying to eat into this lean. Just swings to the first pitch. That one comes in and hits her, and a run scores. Many ways to pick up an RBI, many ways to score a run. As Addison Parton comes in to score, it's now 9-3. to three. Back to the top of the order. Now bring up Molly Mitchell, who is... 0 for 3 tonight with a strikeout and a flyout and a lineout. And that liner back in the fifth inning, she hit it hard. Diving play. So base is still loaded. As pitch misses upstairs. So Acosta at third, Bosha at second, Alexander at first. The 1-1, one, one. misses low, two balls, one strike to Molly Mitchell. Here comes the 2-1 pitch, low, throw back over to third base as Acosta's back safely. So three and one now to Molly Mitchell. That one's in there for a strike. It's now a full count to Molly Mitchell. The cost at third, Bosch at second, Alexander at first. Nine to three. 
Georgetown here in the top of the sixth inning. Payoff pitch. Comes in, that hits her. <laughs> Second straight hit by pitch. Another run comes home. This time Acosta. Bosha move over to third base. Soleil will move over to, oh, sorry, Alexander will move over to second. Two runs have come across. It's nine to four, and they'll bring up Annika Oberg. Had a base hit back in the fifth inning, and just a little behind the scenes fact here. When I started the inning off with the K.O. Oberg strikeout, I accidentally wrote it in Annika's spot, and I thought, eh, there's no way we're going to get, you know, we hope, hope, might not get back to that spot. Well, sure enough, we do. So, good for Cedar Park. Bit of an oof moment for me. But bases now loaded, sorry, still loaded. For Cedar Park, Bosha at third base, Alexander at second, Mitchell at first, Roberg. First pitch is low. Oberg holds off. Oberg able to pull one through the left side for a base hit. One zero pitch. That one misses and is dropped by the catcher Miller. And it's two and zero. Cedar Park pulling, trying to have some late game heroics. We've seen it against Leander. He may be down, but they are never out. The 2-0 pitch is on the ground, right to the shortstop. Throw over to first base will be in time for the final out of the inning. However, Cedar Park scores two, makes it a five-run game. We head to the bottom half of the sixth inning, our score. Georgetown 9, Cedar Park 4. You're listening to Cedar Park Softball on the Vibe Media Network. Bottom of the sixth inning here at Georgetown High School. Eight, one, and two. Make that two, three, and four. Looking in the wrong spot. Due up for the Eagles. Cedar Park has cut into this lead. Made in the five-run game once again. We Swan, Hartley, and Prince. Swan reaching back in the fourth inning. I'm not sure how to roll that one. This was off the glove of Molly Mitchell. Throw that one a base hit. So Swan is one for three tonight. Cedar Park just trying to keep in a five run game, give him a chance in the top of the seventh. Oberg's pitch to Swan. This is upstairs off the glove of her sister. One ball, no strikes. The one pitch is lined down the left field line and that's gonna be a fair ball. 
Hernandez up with it. As Swan in for a double. As more changes have been made to the defense. As Hernandez is in left field, Pardon's at third base. As Hartley steps in. She has reached all three times tonight, a homer and a single and a hit by pitch. As the first pitch misses low. Pitch rolls in there as into third base goes Swan. And Mitchell comes in to play second, the third person to play second base tonight. All Izzy Robinson, Hernandez, and now Mitchell. That one's on the ground at the third baseline, but foul, it's two and one. Two one pitch, just misses. It's three and one to Hartley. In the air to center field, it backs up Bosha. That one's gone. <laughs> Second home run tonight by Hartley. And for the second time tonight, after Cedar Park makes it a five run game, a two run home run makes it a seven run game. Prince will stand in now. Single, double, and a walk. Pitch to Prince is in there for a strike. Low. And to Prince, it's one and one. One one pitch to Prince with no one out. And that one's lined to the left field. That's gonna get down for a base hit and knock off the wall. Prince, big turn at first base. The throw into second base, that one's gonna have a chance. And unable to, in time to make the tag is Mitchell. That was a lot much closer play though than I think Prince was expecting. And I'll bring up Miller. Miller with the base hit back in the first inning was out at home. Pop up in a strikeout. She's one for three. So we will get a courtesy runner in for the Prince. Like that, just a pinch runner, Marissa Martinez. Up to bat, number 17, Kennedy Miller. As Oberg floats a changeup in there to Miller. It's 0-1. As 
Starts to float another one in there. Misses outside. It's one and one. On one pitch, hit in the air to right field. It backs up Mikas up against the wall. She makes the catch. The throwback into second base is right behind, and she's out. It's your average everyday 9-4-6 double play. As pinch runner had taken off running, thinking that one was out of the park, and Mika stayed on it and caught it up against the wall and able to cut down the runner at second base. So Pinnell will step in now. She scored back in the first inning and swings of the first pitch right to Evans at short. Throws it over to first base in time for the final out of the inning. Cedar Park will have one last chance. They're trailing by seven. We'll head to the top of the seventh. Our score, Georgetown 11, Cedar Park 4. You're listening to Cedar Park Softball on the Vite Media Network. Top of the seventh inning here at Georgetown High School. Cedar Park, one last chance to get back into this one. Trailing by seven once again. They started off the game trailing five to nothing, made it a three-run game, and then Georgetown extended their lead to five again on a homer in the second inning. Extended it to seven on a homer in the fourth inning. Cedar Park cuts into it, makes a five-run game again, and then once again, George Tonix makes it a seven run game with a home run. Avery Evans will step in. She's 0 for 3 tonight. As Evans swings at the first pitch, hits it in left, left center field. Coming in is the center fielder, makes the catch for the first out of the inning. Evans just kind of scooped it into the air. One away for uh, Kaya Oberg. Oberg struck out to begin in the sixth inning. This pitch to Oberg misses inside. Top of the seventh inning, no one on. One out. Eagles leading the Timberwolves 11 to four. As Oberg fouls one back, it's one and one. Comes a 1-1 one, one as swings and misses. And it's 1-2. and two. Okay. 
One two pitch just stays alive at a pitch low. One, two, once again, just stays alive. One, two, once again, upstairs, good take by Oberg. The 2-2, two -two. scooped it in the air. Swan racing in, makes the catch. Last chance now for the Timberwolves. Will be Addison Pardon, reached twice tonight, has scored twice tonight. Reaching on a walk and a single. As Parton fouls one away. The 0 1. Line drive caught by the shortstop. And that will do it. Georgetown gets a bit of measure of revenge against Cedar Park, as last time they were here, they were the first team to beat them in this stadium. And that will end the season for the Cedar Park Timberwolves. They end fifth in the division on the outside looking in of a playoff spot. But they fought all the way through and they fought the entire season. There was never an ounce of give up in this Cedar Park Timberwolves team as they played hard throughout the entire season and there's a lot of a lot of good to look forward to in the coming years. And I'll do it from us here at Georgetown High School and I'll do it from us here on the season. Our final on this one, Georgetown 11, Cedar Park four. I'd like to thank my QA, Rosie Vega, for making sure everything was sounding good out there and what we like to call Vipe land. As well as for Cedar Park High School. Four years now I've been calling Cedar Park softball games and I love doing it every single time. So I hope I get to come back next year. Because I absolutely love doing it. And I'll do it from us here this Cedar Park season, our final Georgetown 11 Cedar Park Forum. My name is Brian, reminding you to please wash your hands, please wear a mask, please stay safe. I'll see you next time. Thank you.